Soaking right through. Hey, remind me again what we're doing once the newspapers are used up. Bunch them together. We'll burn them in a field or something. Whatever's left of the oil will just have to go out with good old fashioned water, I guess. We'll get a bucket relay going between here and the river. Of course, even then, the slick won't wash away completely. Maybe not, but the first good rainstorm that blows through ought to take care of the rest. Hey, anything we could do to lighten the load? Huh? Where'd Kenta run off to? He went into town to pick up some parts. We're basically just hammering out the dents while we're waiting on him to get back. What? You gotta be kidding me. What's he still doing awake? What's up, guys? I thought I'd swing by to see if you needed any help. Dude, thanks, but no thanks, really. What the hell are you even doing here? You should be resting up for the big race tonight. That's what you should be focusing on. Yeah, but... All right, look, I'm gonna say this to all of you. I'm a realist. I know my chances out there are slim to none, whatever we do. Still, don't think that I'm gonna take that lion down. I had my head up my ass, and because of it, Project D's rep is on the line. This is my responsibility. So whatever the hell it takes, I am gonna race tonight. For now, the name of the game is Pace Yourself. Promise me you won't do anything crazy, okay? Promise. Those right-hand corners are gonna be murder on your left front side, so it's important that you take them as gently as possible, you got me? I got you, dude. All right, I'm out of here. Peace. Come on, baby. 
Show me what you got. For the sake of everyone who lost sleep trying to fix you. For the sake of my pride. Show me a miracle. <laughs> Those shirt quads faces were paler my ass. And Mr. Pretty Boy with his precious spiked hair looked like he was ready to run home and cry to his mama. He might talk a big game, but when the chips are down, man's got nothing to pony up with. If we can manage to intimidate the 8-6s driver half as easily as the FDs, then I'd say we have this race pretty much in the bag. In the bag and over the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> It's a weird vibration when I break at this speed, but she can still handle the left-hand corners the way she always does. The right-handers, though, they're the ones that have me worried. Let's see if all that elbow grease was for nothing. of a bitch! I was only driving her at 80%, but the moment I shifted the weight to the left front side, freaking thing spun like a top. It's hopeless. And here I was thinking I could make this work. What a dumbass. What the hell am I gonna do? I'll never be able to face the guys again. Sorry, bro. I guess that's what you get for putting your faith in me. Ah, oh, great. Company. Hold on a second. I know that sound. That's a rotary engine. cheer you guys on tonight? Why are you parked all the way out here? Uh, I mean... <laughs> oh, God. I knew it. He's upset. He probably thinks I'm stalking him. Man, I blew it. Listen to me. This is important. Do you trust me? I know even as far back as when we called ourselves the Red Suns, the whole idea of competing in a borrowed car has been strictly forbidden. I've always accepted that, but it just isn't gonna work for me tonight. And I don't care if you get that or not, bro. If you don't like it, fine. This race doesn't have to be a legit D battle. But I'll be damned! I will be damned if you don't let me get our dignity back! It's me, Ryosuke. I know this is kind of late, but we won't be needing that car after all. Yeah, that's right. My apologies. I'll call you later, okay? Hang on, wait a minute. You let me go on and on like that and you'd already made arrangements for another car to be brought here tonight? It's not like I wanted to, but what choice did we have? When your back's against the wall, you do what you gotta. I have absolutely no intention of compromising Project E's winning streak by default. Especially if it means conceding to them. <laughs> yeah, that's all well and good. But don't you think these guys are gonna object to our switching cars like this? I mean, come on, you know any little thing they think might give us an advantage will just be flat out refused. We're talking about using a car they hadn't even counted on racing in the first place. There's no way they're gonna let us slip by with that. It's funny you should bring that up, because I have a job for you. It's gonna require just a little bit of sweet-talking on your part. And a hell of a lot of aggression. Come off it, man! Don't try to sell me that it's the same model line! It's a totally different car! Give me a break! I mean, what do we look like to you, a couple of chumps? No, not at all. I guess I'm just kind of surprised to see you taking this so hard, given how eager you were for us to replace the FD with the 8.6. The hell are you blabbing about? We never said anything like that! 
Isn't the 86 the same model training car they use in F1 racing? Come now, gentlemen, let's not be difficult about this. Think about it. He'll still be driving a borrowed car he's never driven. I'd say that gives you the advantage, if anything. If that isn't good enough, then I'm afraid our hands are tied. We'll have no choice but to postpone tonight's race, which will just give us that much more time to practice. Well then, I'm assuming it's all right with the two of you if we pack up now and head back to Gunma. What do you know? I gave them the hard line cold as ice, just like you said, and they fell for it. I figure they've got more riding on tonight's race than they're letting on. They may act like they're more or less being forced into racing us, but the look in their eyes tells me a very different story. Wow, you don't miss a beat, do you? Something hangs in the balance for them over this, but it isn't their pride. Not even bragging rights, which must mean they're something far more insidiously specific. <laughs> Wait, are you saying it's about money? Most likely. Those bastards! That's what they're trying to pull? Now we've really got to cream these guys! Good luck tonight, pretty boy. <laughs> You'll need it if you're so desperate you gotta borrow someone else's car. Man, oh man, some people just have no shame. <laughs> He's an asshole, Case K. Try to ignore him. He's only trying to mess with your head. Trust me, it's cool. You think a cheap shot like that's gonna make me forget how lucky I am to be here? Believe it or not, guys, right now there's not a damn thing anybody could say that would make me feel anything but gratitude. Where would I be without this team? Without these guys? Without her? Let's do this thing! In five! Porcupine can watch my taillights get smaller while he's busy feeling out his new ride. That's why I chose to lead. Hell, I'm not stupid. I'm in this for the surefire win. Suryosuke, there's something that I've been meaning to ask you about. I mean, you already had a replacement car en route when you decided to let Keisuke go with the girl's FD. It was the right call to make, but it just doesn't seem in character for you to change your mind so arbitrarily. What have I told you about jumping to conclusions? Maybe when the opportunity presented itself, I simply thought it best for KSK to fix the situation on his own terms, based on his own experience. Uh, of course. He's already familiar with Kyoko's car from when the two of them raced. And hence my decision. He's gotten a close look at how that vehicle operates at its limits. And perhaps more importantly, how it differs from his own FD. My choices may appear arbitrary at times, but in the end, I'm really an opportunist. Whenever I see something that might increase our chances of winning, I jump on it. I'll admit, though, it was damn lucky for us that that girl showed up here tonight. Case KOs are one. We all do. Awesome, just like I thought. This baby's got power and a killer suspension system. Thanks, Kyoko. This is one hell of a ride. Okay, I gotta ask. Are you feeling all right? I never in a million years thought I'd see you let somebody else behind the wheel of that thing. I hate to agree with him, Kyoko, but you have to know by now that your obsession with that car is something of a local legend. I am surprised at myself. If anyone told me a few weeks ago I'd be letting someone borrow my pride and joy, I'd have told them to get their head examined. But right now, I couldn't be happier to help Keisuke out. I mean, it's kind of like tonight was just destined to be. If lending him my car will help my darling, you better believe I'll do it. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for him. I'm rooting for you, babe, just like I said I would. Don't you dare lose this.
dude's gone? That's not even his own car, man. He got it on loan. If this case guy is not an FD specialist, I sure as hell don't know what one looks like. Don't get your panties in a wad yet. He's still getting dusted. This is gonna be a tough one. Word on the street is that guy didn't have a chance to run the course at all last night. Not even once. He's racing a land Evo when he didn't practice? <laughs> he may be good, but that's just friggin' crazy. I remember reading something in a car magazine once. For sheer speed on the streets, the LAN Evo is second to none. Sorry, FD, but this is one lesson you're gonna have to learn the hard way. Time for trash talk is over, pretty boy. Now get out of my sight! You know, I think I get it now. The point of this race is actually pretty straightforward. Unless I'm wrong, Keisuke is facing two major handicaps out there. One, he's having to drive someone else's car. And two, he never got the chance to do any practice runs on this course. Under circumstances like these, you wouldn't think he had a chance to win. But if there's even the slightest gap in his opponent's skill, it'll level the playing field for him. And I'm pretty sure saying Keisuke is better than this guy would be the understatement of the year. Oh yeah? You really think so? It's kind of hard to explain. My instincts tell me his opponent's not much of a driver to begin with. I think if Keisuke was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him under normal conditions, this race would be over by now. I get it. It's only because of those handicaps that he's been behind this douchebag for as long as he has. That's what the hill climb is about. You'll see. Why can't I shake this guy? Damn it! Come on, I'm driving a Land Evo for crying out loud! I nearly lost it back there, flooring into the tightest corner on this track, and the bastard still run on top of me. How can somebody be that good when they haven't even run the course before? Go any slower, and that prissy little ride of yours might as well be going backwards. to take right there on those upcoming s curves don't screw this up just come at him from the inside tight as you can it'll be tricky the evo will get just a little bit of distance on me but if i do this right the line will open out on the next left hander and give me some cornering speed once we hit the long straightaway i'll leave him in the dust that's the same exit oriented cornering strategy i used against the r34 and tochiki the lan evo doesn't stand a chance against it Time to take this punk to school. You idiot! What the hell are you doing? Have you lost your mind? The road ahead is under construction. There's a barricade on the left shoulder. It's not wide enough for both cars. Don't get any closer to me, you moron! You're gonna push me into the freaking embankment! Crazy bastard! What the hell was that? What kind of horse should we try to pull back there? You could have killed us both with that little stun of yours! Is that Project D's idea of a fair race? If I had backed off in the last second, we'd have had one hell of a mess on our hands thanks to you! You're kidding me. You don't actually believe that, do you? Wait, what? <laughs> you mean you really have no clue? The hell are you saying? There was enough clearance that if you'd pulled your car all the way to the right, we both could have gotten through. But hey, you know the course better than I do, right? If you couldn't judge that for yourself, there's no point in me trying to convince you. Huh? 
I could understand you being pissed if we'd had centrifugal force pushing on us, but it was a friggin' straightaway. If I'd had my car two centimeters from the barricade, there'd still have been five centimeters of play between you and the guardrail. You couldn't tell that? Huh? No way in hell anyone could tell that. Look, if you don't understand your own car specs, this conversation is pointless. Next time you want to come at me like this, do it on the course, not by bitching about my technique after the race is over. You know, like an actual driver. Why don't you try a full-speed braking contest sometime? That'll show you what a real street battle is like. Right now, you can't even talk to me. I think I'm about done with giving free lessons, Hotshot. Now why don't you run along and stop wasting everyone's time? Just as I expected. Uh-huh. Thanks a lot. You've got one hell of a car. <sighs> hey, don't try to start anything with him, man. Not while the gallery's watching. <sighs> this isn't good. I didn't think we could lose on the hill climb. But our next opponent's only a kid. I don't think I should have that much to worry about. <laughs> Looks to me like they removed the rear wing from the Lan Evo, huh? Might be the Evo 6, hard to tell. You ever seen one? Yeah, a while ago. Looks like it. You and me need to have a little chat before we start, sport. Man, you're a young one, huh? What's your name, kid? It's Fujiwara. Well, Fujiwara. I hate to be the one to tell you this, but just between you and me, you and your little crew over there are in for a world of hurt. What? My buddy didn't appreciate your boy yelling at him. He may have gone off the deep end. He's pretty much the worst kind of sore loser, if you know what I mean. He just called a bunch of his bruiser cronies over to come kick your friend's asses. Quit giving me the stink eye, dude. I don't want this thing coming to blows any more than you do. I just thought a heads up might be in order seeing us how none of this has to go down if you decide to help smooth out the situation. See what I'm getting at? Maybe you don't try so hard to win this thing. What? Maybe my sore loser friend saves some face watching me pull out the win over you and decides to call his cronies off, you know? Why don't you just say it, man? Either I take a dive tonight or my friends get beat up. Hey, don't go putting words in my mouth, kiddo. I'm just trying to do the neighborly thing here, that's all. I'm just saying there are a lot more important things than winning. Like being able to walk. Well, isn't this familiar? Once again, the pressure's on me to win this for us, since a certain somebody couldn't pull their own weight. Not that I'm pointing any fingers. <sighs> Whatever happens, we gotta win at least one of these. Hopefully, my little heart-to-heart -heart will have done the trick. Earth to Takami. You're looking a little grim there, even for you. Are you sure everything's all right? Actually, there's something you probably ought to know. Those sons of bitches. I don't know, man. What do you think I should do? What do I think you should do? I think you should ignore the bastard and focus on winning. Forget about everything but the road in front of you and let us handle everything else. You're here to race, not to be intimidated by trash-talking scum like him. I figured you'd say that. I was thinking the same thing myself. All right, people, let's do it! Starting at five! Keisuke and Takamir here beyond needing my advice anymore. I can give them free reign to go wherever their instincts lead them. Still, the Evo 6 is nothing to sneeze at. As harmless as it may look, that unassuming little ride can be quite the bombshell on a downhill run. I usually wouldn't expect to do too well against Project D's notorious 8-6. Not at an honest race, anyway. But if I could keep this kid from getting in the zone, well, I mean, who could blame a guy for wanting some insurance, right? That's the beauty of my little sideways tag, really. No matter how good they are, anyone can be intimidated by violence. 
Hey, I'm not asking for much here, just for the kid to have a little perspective. Just hang back and take it easy, sport. That's all you gotta do. Leave everything else to me. Yeah, the woman is a lay, who can't take it, but then she's a lay. 